Hello, ladies and <laughs> welcome back to the Game of Life Part 2. Why am I wearing this coat? Because it's cold. I know it's a little bit obnoxious, so I'm gonna have to take it off. Bodysuit from Revolve, link in bio if you like it, by the way. <laughs> okay, number one. I wanted to firstly touch on something that a commenter brought up. They made a very valid point. They said, remember that the goal of the game is different for everyone. And that is very, very true. You know, my other video, it was very much about gaining the most resources so you can climb in life and like just get more out of life in general. And yeah, someone said, well, I'm not actually after career success or monetary success. That's fine. However, never knock the importance of money. Money is important. Think about when you're playing a game. What do you use money for? Money can buy you new skills in games, aka in the real world, it can help you buy further education, online courses, training, which will then help you make more money and level up. Number two, money can also provide you access to healthcare, better healthcare. If you fall sick and you don't have money for healthcare, or surgery, whatever treatment you need, you're just gonna deteriorate over time, mentally and physically. Then what happens? Maybe you get put out of a job. This is how a lot of people end up homeless on the street. They don't have money for healthcare. And then maybe you pass that burden onto your family. Your mental instability now, the pain you're going through is going to affect your family. And this is why people say poverty is something that cycles through our families. It's really hard to break. While someone with money, they have access to healthcare. They have access to all the resources they need in order to get better so they can continue living life normally, which is why you cannot neglect your health and why it is completely remiss to comment on one of these videos and say that money is not important. Money is important. It is not everything though, but it is important. And I do not think that it is wrong to strive for money considering it can give you so many other benefits in this game. Additionally with money, what can you do in a game? Buy more clothes for your avatar, buy things which will physically level up your avatar. And in some of the games you play, you'll find that when your avatar becomes more attractive or you buy new things for it, that's when they unlock another level, which is what we talked about in part one. Let's go back to the health bar and why the health bar is so important. If you do not have your health, you crumble. How can you complete the game, for example, if your mood is terrible, your concentration is bad, you're not eating properly, you can't physically perform, you're not exercising, you're not fit. How can you expect to perform in the game then? Your avatar is so tired. That little XP bar, it is all the way down here. It is flashing. You're tired. Uh, I'm gonna give you some quick tips on things you need to do in order to become fit mentally and physically. Okay, number one, you need to sleep every day, six to eight hours minimum. I'm a psychology student. I have written so many research papers on the negative effects of not getting enough, enough sleep. Your mortality rate is through the roof. You are more susceptible to disease and mental illness. You overall just have worse health. Lack of concentration, and what do we say about lack of concentration? Now it's gonna be harder in other areas to perform. Money, making friends, your mood, your job, etc. It's a chain effect. Number two, you need to exercise every day. The modern lifestyles where we sit at the computer or on our bed looking at our phone, watching Netflix, very sedentary. It is very, very unhealthy. Focus on your health now. Do not overlook the fact that you're young and you can get away with being unhealthy because it will bite you in the ass. And even me at 23, for not working out the past couple of years, it has started to bite me in the ass right now with some things I've been developing that I now need to work twice as hard to get rid of. Work out every day, go for a fucking walk, okay? Number three, eat a nutritious diet, minimize alcohol consumption. You're begging for liver disease at this point. And number four, get a therapist. I talk about this all the time, therapy, therapy, therapy. Remember in video number one, I said getting a therapist is actually an investment that produces a very high ROI. In video one, we talked about ROI, as in for every action I do, what would be the return on investment? Therapy, in my opinion, has one of the highest ROIs, just because say you are depressed, you're miserable, you have so much trauma, so, instead of like going to a therapist, you linger with it. What happens? That trauma comes out in your relationships. You put it onto other people, maybe subconsciously, without even knowing. If you're depressed, you're unable to perform in your life, which means you're not gonna have good relationships, friendships, connections, you won't be happy. You're living a very low quality life. It will also impact your ability to earn money and get a good job. Now, if you invested 
that $100 or $200 a week in therapy, and I know it can be expensive, but hear me out, if you invested that, that's why it's an investment, you will reap all the rewards of it. Better relationships, you know yourself better now, you're gonna have better relationships, guaranteed almost, happier, perform better, help you get a better job. Even though I consider myself to be very mentally stable, I reaped so many benefits from therapy. I advocate for absolutely everyone to do it. Guys, whether or not I was sponsored by BetterHelp, I'm a therapy advocate. Because, you know, even in my last video, unsponsored, I talked about therapy. <laughs> so, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, it's basically an online therapy service. It's actually the world's largest. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 300,000 licensed therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, all you need to do is answer a couple of questions about your needs and what you're looking for, and BetterHelp will match you with the perfect therapist for you. Also, therapy is a bit like dating, so if you don't like your therapist, you can ask for a new one free of charge. In traditional therapy, especially in Australia, you usually need to go back to your GP and get a referral and then that costs money. But with better help it's free. Then you can talk to your comfortable then you can talk to your therapist whichever way you choose over the phone, video chat, text or online call. The great thing is you can also message them at any time because sometimes you cannot wait for your weekly or fortnightly session and you just need to talk to someone in that moment. With better help you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-person office therapy. But with a therapist that is custom picked for you and you can talk to them at any time, more scheduling, flexibility and at a more affordable price. So guys get 10% with my link here betterhelp.com slash smo squared for 10% off your first month of better health therapy. Now we've gone over the foundations, let's talk about mental stamina. This is something I didn't talk about yet. Mental stamina in a game, it should be its own bar itself, to be honest. But the mental stamina is actually the player. It won't be showing on the screen. Mental stamina, your resilience and your strength mentally. How easy is it for you to overcome obstacles and to bounce back from situations? I was thinking recently about entrepreneurs and how the people who become really wealthy in life, they're the ones who endured so much failure, but they just kept going, 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 and they knew one day they would make it. Most people do not have this. And I know, because first of all, if everyone had this type of grit, everyone would be rich. But being rich or getting anything that's hard in life, if it was easy, everyone would do it. But it's not easy, which is why most people don't do it. They try, they fail, then they crumble, give up move on to something else that's easier. And right now, I know because I'm actually, for some of my like really close followers on my private account, I'm hosting this Discord group marketing class where I literally give out free coaching for people and they get like 50% of whatever products they sell in the affiliate program. If you want to be a part of it, you can join. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram. And this is coaching that I charge brands a lot of money for my advice strategy all of it i'm very hands-on in this group motivating them pushing them giving them all the resources needed to succeed and guess what people do it for a couple of days and then i get a dm when am i when am i going to start making money and then i check their accounts they stop posting two days into it one week into it how can you expect to go somewhere in life if you give up in the first week i said your videos are not good i'm looking at them they're not good you need to constantly analyze how can you get better? What are you doing wrong? Try something new. And if you have a goal, you will stop at nothing in order to get there. But most people give up. And this is why I'm literally not afraid of competition at all. Because half of the game is just showing up and continuing. The other half of the people drop out. More than half of the people. 80% of the people drop out. The competition, it's easy. You need to develop grit in life. Overcoming obstacles bouncing back and honestly the more hardship and failures you endure and the more you try things and you don't succeed that is when grit develops and also when you just have a goal and you're so driven that you'll never give up how you can increase your chances of winning shoot your shot more <laughs> go out and do more things leave your house more if you're looking for your soulmate and you hate dating apps Go outside more. Just by that, you automatically increase your chances like tenfold of getting approached by someone or like seeing someone you like and approaching them. Additionally, if you're looking for a partner, shoot your shot more. Don't be afraid of rejection. I mean, rejection is so normal. The more it happens, the more you get used to it. The more you shoot your shot, the more you're maximizing your chances of success. I tell people this in my marketing group as well. You don't just want to post one video. You want to post lots of videos every day across multiple accounts because you're increasing your chances of going viral. Same in life. The more you do, the more you shoot your shot, the more eggs you have in different baskets, the more chances you have 
of becoming successful. However, do not get this confused with skill building and investing time into things. What I mean by this is, if you say you want to become really good at, I don't know, computer science, okay, one skill, but then you're doing all these other things, banking, studying to be a lawyer, all of these other time consuming things, instead of specializing in one area and doing really good, you're just going to be down here for all of them. So don't get it confused with that. Don't get shooting your shot confused with something like spending your time wisely, okay? The more you put yourself out there, the more risk you take, the more chance you have of becoming successful. Your, it's simple maths. Your probability is increased by so much. Additionally, find a mentor. Mentoring is so wonderful because automatically you get access to your mentor's network. It's already less work you have to do. Secondly, you directly learn from someone who is doing and accomplished what you want to do. You're getting the shortcuts and the cheat, the cheat codes in the game. Your mentor already knows how to play the game, so you can learn from them. And if you're unable to go out and find a physical mentor in real life, watch YouTubers, read books, those are your mentors right there. Let's touch on habit building. Habit building is a great way to also have an easier time playing this game just because the moment something becomes a habit for you, it's habitual now. You don't have to think about it. It's like brushing your teeth. Is it a chore in the morning? No, you just do it automatically. When I would play Animal Crossing as a child, my habit as the player in the game, I would wake up and then I would go pick out the weeds from the garden that and then I would go like collect fruit from the tree and go sell it at the market. That was my daily habit in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I knew the reward as well. The reward was that my player would get money and then that money can go buy other things. So how do you build habits? I talked about this in my productivity video if you want to go and watch that. But it's just committing yourself, doing things every single day. I also literally created a journal called the Life Formula, you guys. The life formula is called the life formula for a reason, but it will help you build habits, organize your goals, put you on track. It is like my pride and joy. So shameless promo, go check that out if you want. But yes, stack your habits. Okay guys, I think that is it. Thank you for watching. How to play the game of life part two. If you'd want a part three, let me know. Don't forget, you vlog channel, you second channel videos are out as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Neighborhood kids, something on baby kids, kids. You're in the yard, I like the valley, and as the summer fades away, nothing more can say. You're right by tour, we make it work. You're beautiful, and I'm insane. We're American made. Give me Hallmark, my dream under the one lover. Make me happy and blue. Norman Rockwell, no high under the <coughs> government. Mm, it's just yes. me. Jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love.